In today's video, I'll explain to you what a monochromatic color scheme is and show you how to apply it to your artwork. Have you ever heard about monochromatic color schemes but not sure what it is or how to apply it to your artwork? Well, let's talk monochromatic color schemes. Hi, my name is Pietru and this is the Artifacts 23 Studio. Okay, just quickly before we jump into the video, any interaction really helps the channel out. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, give the video a like if you liked it, share if you want to, and leave us a comment down in the comment section below this video. Um, okay, let's move on. break down the word monochrome. Monochrome is the ancient Greek term for one color where mono means one and chrome or chroma um, stands for color so one color. Easy. But how do you apply and use a monochromatic color scheme in your artwork? A common misconception is that monochrome is a term used for paintings or drawings done in graphite, charcoal or grayscale only. But since the literal meaning of the word is one color, that sets us up for a whole rainbow of options for painting or drawing in a monochromatic color scheme. Before diving into the tutorial, I'll revise a bit of color theory first which will be especially helpful if you're going to use paint as a medium for your monochrome artwork. When we mix two of the primary colors together, we get what's called a hue. To lighten or tint a hue, you'll add white to it. To darken or shade it, you'll add black. Mixing the white and black to get gray, you can add that to your hue to tone down its vibrancy. So, painting or drawing in monochrome basically means you're going to use one color throughout your entire piece of artwork and use various tints, shades and tones of that same color. Okay, for this demonstration I'm using the Supracolor Soft Watercolor Pencils by Caran Dash. They're my favorite watercolor pencils right now and while I have a choice of one color only, why not just use my favorite color? Okay, first I made a swatch going from dark to light, easing the pressure with every swatch and using a water brush pen to activate the pigment. Then I drew a simple sketch of birds on wires and colored them in going from dark to very light to indicate that the birds in the foreground are closer to us. This is just a simple illustration to show you how you could achieve atmospheric perspective with a monochromatic color scheme. Now for something more detailed. I looked around and chose this ornamental succulent decoration in the studio for my next sketch. Just look around you and find something to draw. It doesn't need to be super detailed, just interesting enough to add depth, shade and highlights. After drawing it out on my sketch pad, I added a light layer of color, which will basically act as the lightest value in this monochromatic painting. Then I just continued layering darker shades using my swatch card as a reference for the intensity of color. If you decide to use paint, watercolor, acrylic, gouache or even oil paint, you can actually pre-mix various strings of the color before you start painting, which will make it a bit easier and you'll spend less time mixing and more time painting. And there you have it, a drawing done with one color only. I hope you find this video helpful in your daily art endeavors. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and remember to follow your art.